didn't like the breakfast menu this morning? I wasn't very hungry, Dorothy. Well, Grandma Kate's food will take care of that, I'm sure. You know, you've been making good progress. You might even be able to go home to the ranch this afternoon. No, I want to stay right here. Jeannie, I know losing a baby must be difficult. But you have to go on with your life. I can't do that. Okay, look, Not don't, yet. Don't cry. I... Don't get upset, okay? Jenny, there's a real good chance that you might be able to have another baby. Not Ryan. Uh, nurse, could you tell me if Dr. Marshall's in the hospital? Yes, but she's with a patient right now. If you'd like, you can wait for her in the reception area. No, I'll wait here. Thank you. Are you going to the hospital to see Jenny? Yeah, a little while. You want to come along? Yes. But I want to get this soup started first. It's Jenny's favorite, and I want to have it ready for her when she comes home. Did Courtney say when she'd be released? She said today at her mouth. Uh, then I saw Steve going down to the stables a few minutes ago. That's possible. Why isn't he in school? Because I let him sleep late. Are you feeling well? Didn't you hear him crying last night? No. What was he crying about? He was worried about Ginny. He was afraid she was going to die. I told him that she wasn't in any danger of losing her life. Yes, I told him that, too. But he started thinking about the baby, and his imagination just ran away with him. Yeah, Ginny's made him too dependent on her. That's the problem. Barry, you were gone for five years. That's not deliberate, Grandma. I'm I was not blaming prison. you. I'm just saying that's one of the reasons Ginny and Steve are so close. Now, in time, he'll be close to you, too. I'll have a talk with him and try to reassure him about Ginny. Well, that will help, I'm sure. I tried to be as honest as I could be with Steve. Of course, I couldn't be totally honest. Why not? Well, I couldn't tell him that the baby his mother lost was Ryan Connors, not mine. You knew it wasn't my baby. Yes, I knew. It wasn't my place to tell you. Who else knew? Courtney, no doubt. Who else? What does it matter? It's over. No, it's not quite over yet, Grandma. Ginny, the hospital has a wonderful counseling service. I don't need any counseling, Courtney. It might help to talk to someone. I can talk to Rena. I don't need some stranger to sit down and tell me how I feel about losing my baby. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to stab at you. It's okay. I understand. I really do. But you can't hide in this hospital forever. I won't let you do that. I just need a little time to work things out. That's all. Why can't you do that on the ranch? You can go sit on the front porch. No, I want to stay right here. Okay, okay. Okay. I talked to Barrett this morning. Did I see him yesterday? Yes, you did. Not too long after you came down from the recovery room. I, I don't remember. I, of course, I don't remember much about yesterday at all. He's coming into town this afternoon. I don't want to see him. Not today. Jenny. Maybe I'll see him tomorrow, but not today. Jenny, he is your husband. He is upset about the baby. Then call him and tell him I can't have any visitors. I can't. Courtney, I've already... please! Please! Courtney, uh, how's Jenny today? Physically, much better. And emotionally? One minute she's fine, then the next minute she goes to pieces. 
I do the same thing. Well, it's fairly normal behavior given the circumstances. You told me yesterday that I'd get to see Jenny today, right? Yes. As a matter of fact, I was just going to go call you. You haven't changed your mind. No, no, no. You can see her for a while. But I do have a favor that I want to ask you. What is it? Would you talk to Mrs. Davis from our counseling service? She's had a lot of experience in this kind of situation, and, well, I'm sure she could give you some advice on how to deal with this. Okay, I will. Surely you can't expect me to ignore the fact that she was carrying Ryan's baby. Now, Ginny was involved with Ryan because she thought you were never coming back. After five years, none of us thought you would ever return. Jenny probably wishes that... Jenny wishes that you had never gone to war. That you hadn't been captured. But it happened. And she found consolation in Ryan Connor's bed. Barrett, Jenny and Ryan Connor were engaged to be married. She refused to sleep with me until our wedding night. Oh, that's not fair. Don't tell me you approve, Grandma. I was the one who encouraged Ginny to get on with her life. To find someone to share it with. Someone to help her with Steve. Be angry with me, not Ginny. I'm not angry. I'm stunned. I'm hurt that Ginny wasn't honest with me about the baby. She didn't want to tell you because she was afraid you couldn't deal with it. Did you encourage that, too? Oh, you had a lot of adjusting to do, Barrett. She didn't want to hurt you any more than you'd already been hurt. But she underestimated my strength, Grandma. That was a mistake, not a mortal sin. Yes, I think I can accept that. What do you plan to do? Reach an understanding with Jenny. I think we can begin again. Start fresh. Maybe we'll even have a baby. Oh, Barry. Give her time to mourn her baby. That's very important. Yes. I know. And then maybe we can concern ourselves with the future and forget about the past. Do you think that's possible? You mean because of Ginny's love for Ryan Connor? No. Because of your jealousy for Ryan Connor. Ginny married me. She chose to stay with me. She could have married Ryan, but she didn't. And I intend to make our marriage work. Barrett, it can't work unless you forgive her. I can do that, Grandma. And can you also trust her? Can you trust that she wants to be with you and not Ryan? Yes, I can do that, too. I promise you, Grandma. I'll make her happy. <laughs>